up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Hey, you guys, welcome back, welcome back to my channel my name is ashley aka pink uni budgets and if you are new here hey how's it going what you doing today <laughs> um and if you are my returning budgeting besties thank you so so much for returning girl <laughs> i miss y'all hey hey girl and today we are doing some cash stuffing i really did move shift some things around i you know i did the 20 envelope unstuffing and i really like slept on it thought about it and i was really thinking about it because one thing i've always learned was always to try to get a thousand dollars in your emergency fund first off and then you want to try to get a month ahead, like at least one month ahead in your bills, and then and then try to pay off debt, okay? Because I, oh, and if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you why I decide, I changed my mind, and it's okay, I could change my mind. I. I have the right <laughs> to change my mind. When I unstuffed the 20 envelope challenge, I was going to be like, well, you know, I put $87 towards my vacation and then I put the rest towards debt. And I was like, and I was thinking about it and I was like, girl, like, we need to make sure we have at least $1,000 in one of these envelopes before you start paying off these debt. And hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Okay. Debt will will be there for a while because I got a lot of debt. I still have to do my debt confession video. And we'll get there. Right now, I feel like it's very important to have at least $1,000 in liquid cash. Meaning that it's easy to pull out. And if you any if you run into any emergencies that you have that cash on hand. Now, a fully funded emergency fund is three to six months of monthly expenses. So right now we're starting at a thousand, trying to get a thousand in our emergency fund and try to get one month ahead. And I really did um, try to think about like my priority and things making sure I don't dip back into my envelopes. And when I was on live the other day, one of the girls that came on, she asked me, how can I stop dipping back into my envelopes? And one of the reasons is, is not to cash stuff large amounts. Like I know you see a lot of cash stuffers on here cash stuffing you know what they have but those are their expenses after their bills now if you're like me i'm i have single income i don't have any kids my bills are pretty hefty i do use real numbers in my monthly budget videos those are my real numbers and sometimes i don't have that much to cash stuff afterwards like, it could be even as small as $45 to cash stuff. And that's okay. Because we are starting off small. With that being said, so, some of this is a 20 envelope challenge. And the where you see the hundreds and the fifties, these actually came from the savings box challenge. I unstuffed the savings box. I love this box. I love the savings challenge, but I have to be realistic. The amounts are too high for me right now. And what I'm realizing is that I was going strong, but it's like them 50s, the hundreds, the, you know, trying to get that amount. It was like, I'm trying to do those amounts and I'm trying to do these other challenges. 
where I have to break them down and it's a lot easier for me to cash stuff. That's why you probably haven't seen that savings box in like almost, I haven't done it in like three, four weeks, like almost a month because I can't keep up with all of the savings challenges. So, you know, one of them was going to slip because <laughs> I, was, I was trying. I really was. And I was like, it was so much more easier for me to cash stuff like the baddies and budgets, savings challenges, my monthly saving challenges, and my sinking funds because I wasn't doing the savings box because that's large amounts. Like the bigger amounts that I got, like um, the 10K challenge for my house deposit, those ones, I haven't even been able to cash stuff those because they are also large amounts and I have to be realistic I don't have that much to go like to do them big saving challenges so I really do prefer the smaller challenges which I'm actually learning that about myself and I've noticed that a lot of people really do love the Easter savings challenge I've sold a lot of those that is available on my website and a lot of people are actually doing that and able to keep up with it and that makes me so happy because a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck and a lot of people can't cash stuff a hundred dollars fifty dollars and their sinking funds and other saving challenges and like doing all this other stuff trying to get to the one goal of say we have to come back saving one thousand dollars in our emergency fund trying to get a month ahead and then paying down our debt because on the front side i'm trying to be realistic on the front side we have to make sure that we are okay like we have to make sure our bills are okay like debt you can still pay the minimum you know we we will get there but right now i'm learning that about myself because another reason why I'm t I stopped the savings box is because I'm having to dip out into the savings box. And I saved a pretty, I, I'm proud of myself. I was able to save $425 from what I was able to save in the savings box. So I do definitely want to go back to it, but only when I've at least finished maybe the baddies and budgets um savings challenge book when i'm done with that maybe we can go back to the savings box because i can't keep up with it but i was able to save this amount like i can even take out because i actually just took it out because it was 20 and a five that i was actually able to save so in case you think I'm nine, <laughs> so I have 150, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400. Oh wait, I actually saved more. Or did I take some out? See, I'm already messing up. <laughs> because I know I was sticking 50s in the other little challenges. So, cause I know I took these 50s from um, the savings box. So I have one. 50, 250, 350, 450, 500. So I was actually able to save 525. So it's 525. My bad, you guys. So, see, that's why I have to recount it. So that is so good. And I didn't even realize that. But you know 200 has to go back to the bank because I have some expenses coming up. So I could probably, or let me see. I could probably put 100 towards the bank because I know I have some bills that's coming. And I did the dreaded DoorDash. Oh my gosh, you guys. I messed up. <laughs> and I got DoorDash because I was so hungry. <laughs> and I order something off of DoorDash and that kind of put me back because I have a very strict I have a very strict um 
budget because of what all I have going on. So I have to put a hundred dollars back going back to the bank. And this came from the savings box. So I think that's why I put four twenty five because I took out a hundred. But we did so good. Um and I guess we'll go back to um, how much I have and I I want to start this savings challenge too because this is like one of you know the most um, everybody's kind of doing this 2023 Fridays savings challenge and I'm looking at the amounts and I'm like okay I think I could swing that I do have to catch up um, so that's why you see the amounts on the bottom because I'm like okay I got to catch up on these but I'm glad I started now. This is from Simple Shops. You can find it in her Etsy shop, Etsy shop, Etsy store. I'll put the link down below. There's 75 cents right now for the printable. So I just bought the printable, printed it out, and I laminated. So it's front and back for the whole year. And these amounts will also be going into my monthly savings challenge. And we will do it there. I was going to put it like on the side, but I was like, I might as well just, I like I have the tools. Let me just go ahead and laminate it. And, you know, track it like that. So that's what we're going to do it alongside these monthly savings challenges. And I'll probably need to catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. Because I already know it is the fourth week. I missed the third week. So we do have the fourth week of the March challenge. And then we'll have April. Okay. So. So we are going to start. We're gonna try to do our monthly savings challenges. I'm probably just gonna have to slowly, <laughs> slowly catch up and see, you know, what I can stuff. So we got $3. So we could put like 13 in February, 13 in March, and we could put a 20 in Fe January. So I'm trying to like catch up or on my next yeah, or on my next um on my next video when I actually like get paid, I will probably catch up on these. How about that? How about that, you guys? So that will be for my monthly savings challenge, and we'll actually be putting these amounts in these ones since they're just marked um the months on there. Cause I still have to do the Easter savings challenge. Easter Savings Challenge and the March Challenge too. So that'll be three monthly cha savings challenges that I'm doing, but I am really am trying to limit myself. Like I'm really trying to do that because what I always say is start small, start small. And that's what I need to start doing. I need to be taking my own advice, girl. Start small. So, okay. So we got 100, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, five. Why is it like, what? Am I counting this wrong? One, two, three yeah 300 <laughs> i'm like what is this okay 100 150 200 350 see i keep doing it i don't know why i keep doing it <sighs> okay 100 150 200 250 300 350 400 so we're gonna put 400 there. We got two, four, six, eighty. Oh, what the heck? What is going on? So we have four hundred plus eighty. Yeah, I don't know why it looks weird like that. 
So we have one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eighty. See, I don't know. Oh, is it 640? Why don't we just count it by hand? Because I don't know what's going on with my calculator, you guys. So, let's do it that way. I'll try to put timestamps on here because I know I'm already like 16 minutes in. And I know some people don't want to be <laughs> listening to all of that. So, but it was just my reason why I have all this money and everything. So, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 400, 2, 4, 6, 80, 480. 480, 90, 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 560, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 590, 590. We have 1, 2, 3, wait, 590. <laughs> Maybe I should be counting like that. <laughs> 590, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 21. So you have 621. And I hope I'm right. Y'all just gonna have to believe me <laughs> when we cash stuff it all. Okay. So we have 621 that we are gonna cash stuff. So let's get our Easter savings challenge. And then we could probably either knock this one out or just do a little bit. We're gonna get the clouds. So, $2. I know. If you're at home, please don't color like this. <laughs> like, take your time. Like, take your time to color, like, really nice. Because this, I'm doing this for the video purposes. And normally, I do not color like this. But I'm trying to, um, like, speed everything up. So, it's kind of like right so we have two so that's why it looks like that so because i'm not trying to move fast but i'm trying to you know move things along so let's get this little guy and that's gonna be three dollars We are going to complete our Easter savings challenge. Yay! So I'm so excited about that. I'm using a highlighter. This is horrible. Please trust me when I say I do not color like this. I would actually be using like colored pencils and everything. But if you're at home following along, um, like make sure, you know, Take your time, make it pretty. This is like for videos <laughs> and I'm trying to hurry up and you know, I'm not trying to waste y'all's time. Okay. Yay, so we finished our Easter savings challenge with the help of our 20 envelope challenge. So we have the five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yay, so we're gonna put that
in the March. Oops. And I'm trying to think if I should at least try to put it. Because I think the next week was 40. Next week was 40. Because it's the lightning bolts. I'm already there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already here. So I have to color that one. I believe that is Georgia. Georgia. Let me get. Oh, I'm like looking for it. Oh. Georgia, of course. So that has to be 10. Like, you don't have to double it up. It's really like $1, but we decided to do 10. So that's one. This one. Is this Oklahoma? I don't think I've been to Oklahoma, honestly. Like, I think I rolled past there, but I haven't, like, you know, stayed there. Uh see i really do need to get like a map because <laughs> i'm like mm -hmm. i know i haven't been anywhere in the east coast you guys but i really want to visit there so let me see let's see this one is this louisiana i believe this is louisiana definitely been there I think this is Louisiana. I'm probably wrong. Goodness gracious, my map skills are horrible. <laughs> so I think, I mean, Georgia, I think this is Louisiana. Is this Louisiana? Yes. It's Texas, Louisiana. Is it Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia? Oh, goodness. And like the star. Which one is this one? That's really 20. So I'm really trying to figure out. I have to look at a map, you guys. Because I'm not sure. So we're going to put $20 in. I'm like, goodness, that's horrible. <laughs> so we're going to put $20. So it's really, I thought it was 40, but it's going to be 20. Because <laughs> I'm like, is it 20? And then I got to think about the circles. Well, I could do the circles too because we are already in the fourth week. So let's do the circles. So, yep. That one is 10. And have I been to... I think this is Missouri. Oh, Lord. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, is this Missouri? Because <laughs> I've been to Missouri. And I don't believe I've been up to any of these states. You know, I haven't been over here. I haven't actually been. I think this is South Carolina. Girl, I'm horrible. Uh, okay, so I've only been to one just because it's on like this bottom. So, okay, so 10. Okay, so that's another, that's actually 10. Okay, all right, so we'll use 10. Cause I'm like, I thought I've been to more states than that, but. So March, we are gonna do that. this back and then we're almost on week five and then we will count to see how much we was able to save in there and then let's see what we can do for the Friday it's not Friday but it ain't Friday girl but we're gonna put 
one, two, three dollars. And another 10. So at least we can, or I could just start um, work, working my way backwards. So in February, we're gonna put this in February. So we can start putting some money in the other envelopes. So we're gonna mark off February because we're playing catch up now. Cause I know some people are already done with the three months. So we're gonna try catch up girl, we're gonna try catch up, okay. So yes, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. alrighty. So that's it for the monthly savings challenge. And we completed our Easter savings challenge. Yay, I'm so excited. So I'm done with that one. So that's two, two challenges that we actually was able to complete. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next video as we continue to cast up different categories. So we did the monthly savings challenges and we well, I tried to answer the question how to stop dipping back into your envelopes it really is is these saving challenges if you feel like you're overwhelmed slow down take out a challenge just like I did and reallocate those funds to another savings challenges like we're just condensing our saving challenges which is fine like there is no wrong game and this budgeting thing is so personal we are trying to figure this thing called life out and i am here to try to guide your way through it just like i'm trying to i don't have everything figured out i'm not saying that i do but you're seeing it in real time like as i'm learning and i really do learn i really do believe that you have to start off small because I bit off a little bit more than I could chew but we was able to save some money and now we are out reallocating them funds to condense some more envelopes so we're like shrinking our you know the amount of things that we are doing and I feel like I'm doing really good monthly saving challenges, sinking funds, and the baddies and budgets. And then we're gonna be starting the, yeah, the Friday savings challenge where I'll just be put, catching up with that. And since we finished the 20 envelope challenge, which felt so good, we will probably be moving to my 30 envelope challenge, which, you know, we're kind of up in, up in the stakes a little bit okay we're up in the stakes we finished the 20 envelope challenge we're gonna do the 30 envelope challenge and we might even go back to the 20 envelope challenge because i feel like i'm just doing so much better with those challenges and we're still trying to do the 100 envelope challenge but i know that's gonna take me a full year to try to cash up those a lot of people are already finished but girl mm -mm. i'm gonna tell you that mm -mm not over here mm -mm. <laughs> like we ain't moving that fast so but we are cash stuffing a little bit here a little bit there a little bit here and you're seeing it as it adds up so i said girl keep going keep going okay so i will see y'all in the next video thank you so much if you stay to the end of this video please leave me a blue heart right here please leave me a blue heart and do they have blue hearts <laughs> or just put blue heart <laughs> like in the word blue heart um but yes um i will see y'all later Alrighty, righty bye